Mount Olive Church. Yesterday, we talked about the gospel, and the gospel is the good news, the good news of Jesus Christ. And so as the gospel represents the good news of Jesus Christ, then uh, we begin to ask ourselves, well, what was that good news for the people who surrounded the tomb or came to the empty tomb? And so the first group of people that we talked about were the women. We talked about how that the women had just seen Jesus, the one that they loved. They'd just seen him crucified and they seen him die. And we talked about the sorrow of the heart when we lose people we love. And then we also talked about how that they seen that Jesus was convicted by corruption. Uh, There's injustice in his conviction, social injustice. There was political uh, motives, there was power play. And so we talked about how that they suffered social injustice. And then the third thing, they began to prepare his body after his death and they didn't have time to finish that work before they had to put him in the tomb for the Sabbath. So their hearts were burdened as it was made evident in what the Bible recorded that they said as they went to the tomb. They said, well, who shall roll the stone away? Their hearts were broken. Their hearts were full of sorrow and they needed some good news. And when they went uh, to the tomb, they were met with the message of the angel that said, don't be frightened or take comfort. And so the good news that Jesus has risen and the tomb is empty is a message of comfort to troubled hearts. It, and we talked about part of that comfort is to find peace in the midst of storms. And so this is the devotion scripture, John 16 and verse 33. When you go to John 16 and 33, realize that this is the last night that Jesus was alive. And in the last night, as he took the supper with his disciples and he spent time with them, there were so, so many uh, impactful statements that Jesus made because the, the last words of a dying man are the most significant. And so Jesus shared these words with them. And then at the end of this discussion, this conversation, uh, John 16 and 33, Jesus says this, these things I have spoken unto you. What things? This entire conversation, this dialogue in the upper room on the last night that Jesus was alive. These things I've spoken unto you, and here it is, that in me you might have peace. In the world you're going to have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Again, take comfort. I have overcome the world. This is a direct statement to what was about to happen, his death and resurrection, that we were to be reminded that our Savior has overcome everything. He's overcome the world. And so with that promise of victory, with that transformation of being overcomers, of becoming overcomers, Jesus says that know that you're going to have storms and tribulations in this life, but when you see the risen Lord and you put your faith and trust in him, know that you will overcome so you can have peace. In Jesus, there is peace today. And so I talked about our flight into the country when we went on our mission trip last week. And I talked about how that I kind of got full of anxiety and, uh, and fear, actually, because the way we flew in and landed was a little bit different than what I was used to. Uh, we had a lot of turbulence and the plane was going side to side and it would just take those air pocket drops and it did it about three or four times. And Roz may or may not have also been a little bit um, disturbed, I guess you'd say. But then as we felt like we got close to the runway, it was like all of a sudden we heard the engines take control and it leveled out and we landed. And as I was studying for this same message in Nicaragua, I thought, you know what? That's the way the Christian life is. That's exactly what Jesus says. In this world, you're going to have tribulation. The plane ride's going to be bumpy. The plane's going to swerve side to side. You may even hit a few air pockets from time to time. But know that when the time comes, 
God will not let you be tempted above that you're able. The engine of the strength of the Holy Spirit, it'll take over and it will bring peace. That's what the disciples found on the stormy sea. When they said, Jesus, don't you care? You're sleeping uh, in the hinder part of the ship. And Jesus said, oh, you've little faith. And he said, peace be still. So I want to remind you this morning, Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. And so the good news is that in Jesus, if you'll rest in him and trust in him, you'll find peace for your life today. Have a blessed Monday.